because Prospect Pro Wrestling's been back, but because of COVID and everything, they had to have a different venue, you know, size and space and all those kinds of things. But finally, we're going back to Worthington, back to the Worthington Civic Center, the place that, that you know, the Prospect Pro Wrestling, the home of the pasta death match, the home of the crazy last man standing match that damn it that was crazy um and uh what else do we have Boggy baguette on the pole match and uh uh, uh fashionista uh, fashion fashionista street fight is going to be part of this next one but the most important thing is a part of this uh uh 2pw homecoming on saturday will be chase gold there it is. There it is. Are you keeping count over there? I have three. <laughs> you, so got, far. you got three so far. When we get to the, what have you learned this week? Wolf, yeah, all right. <laughs> so, Chase Gold, thank you so much for joining us. Nope. There he is. There you go. Thank uh, you for having me. Uh, um, first of all, first of all, uh, you you had a little bit of excitement on Twitter a couple of weeks ago. We have to talk about that. Um, like I said, War, Warhorse was very excited when I dropped your name. <laughs> to him um that is legitimate what you're seeing on the twitter that is a real emotion coming from that guy uh, so, so so first of all can you tell us about the moment that because I, I think that's what a lot of people listening to the show right now probably are aware of you from uh, uh that exchange what happened it's it's actually really funny because uh warhorse and i didn't speak much after my match not much before yeah but i just I, I knew he watched my match and it was actually, uh, I, I just want to say, and this is for camp leapfrog, uh, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Out in uh, camp leapfrog, which, uh, we had the show at the H2O center. Um, you know, where Matt Tremont, Danny Havoc, they all made a lot of memories there. Um, but yeah, so, uh, we, I, I had this match with, um, wrestler who goes by, uh, Twitch and, um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, it's something about it. Warhorse just really found me appealing. Uh, Maybe it's because I'm Chase Gold. Ah! Ouch. But um, yeah. So so the following day, the following Monday, because that show was on Sunday. Oh, I, I just want to also say that was it was a double header event. So they also had a uh, Daniel Garcia versus mm -hmm. uh, Wheeler Yuta uh, oh, wow. as the main event. So Whoa. there was there was a lot a lot of talent in the H two O Wrestling Center. So I got a, I got to make a lot of nice connections. Um, and you could argue that they made nice connections with me too. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, so, so anyway, I, I actually, somebody messaged me on Facebook messenger because I had, um, my Twitter notifications off for about a week. Cause I just kept getting a bunch of, uh, like COVID and political ones. So I was just tired of seeing them. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. so and someone messaged me and said, <laughs> someone messaged me on Facebook and said, um, Hey, did you realize that you're like trending on Twitter? And I was like, what dude yeah I, I woke up and you, you get that like wrestling and right. then like here's a thing and i was like chase gold was like the highlighted thing in my notifications on an account that doesn't follow you by the way like like i get it on like some of my tech podcast things for some reason right uh because there's stuff crosses over i'm just like what the fuck is going on here and then i saw what was happening in 2bw chat but yeah i was already about like i was already up for about an hour and a half two hours and then i got that message and i look and uh the little notification icon said I had 76 missed notifications and then I, I click on it and I'm going through all these tweets messages likes retweets all this stuff and these notific they, they, they start popping up like and it was uh it actually gave me a little bit of anxiety at first but then <laughs> I I was loving it um, where you're like oh no am I getting canceled <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, actually my initial thought was Valid oh thought. like what did I do or say in uh, New Jersey that is already coming back to bite me? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's, um, it's always New Jersey. That, yeah, yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but no, I mean, I was, I was thoroughly surprised to see that many people excited for Chase Gold. And I actually doubled my Twitter, Twitter followers in 48 hours. Oh, my God. Yeah, you are up to uh, – <laughs> yeah, you did. So. And, uh, That's amazing. And I, 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 need to go I follow. probably gained about 80 on Instagram, and I got a bunch of Facebook uh, friend requests. So. So, 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 the, so the tweet in question I, – I was trying to pull it up, but all I pulled right. up was when he retweeted the – because I, I re-put out, obviously, the, the, the Prospect Pro Wrestling video, right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and tagged him in it. Um, so, so, um, so we have that out there. And uh, so it was something like this guy came out and I love it cause he yelled chase gold, 
Then he kept yelling Chase Gordon, and I hated him, but then I loved him by the end, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> I believe it was the gist <laughs> of it. He said something like, the guy came out, his name is Chase Gold. I know that his name is Chase Gold because he said his name about 80 times. Yes, yes. Right. And listen, I, I think we've all been to indie shows where we are watching the show. Maybe we're new to the promotion or something. What's that guy's name? Yeah, what's that guy's name? I couldn't hear the announcer over the mm -hmm. muffled, shitty uh, uh, PA. Uh, he didn't put his name on the tights. I have no idea. I'm like, I don't know. The guy in purple, he was pretty good. You know, I mean, you'll say that I mean, I'll come on here after seeing a random show while I'm traveling in like Detroit or something. I'm like, I don't know right. who these guys were, but they were fantastic, right? Like you already were ahead because you everybody's gonna know your name on this one right. going out of it. So. And um, you know, when you when you're going through wrestling training, uh, you know, there's tens of thousands of indie wrestlers across the world, and you really want to find a way to make yourself unique. Yeah. So for the first year of wrestling. I was known as the guy in the romper or the guy in uh, the, the guy that wore like grandma's drapes, grandma's yeah. curtains, all, all, all but these. But it looked different than everybody else. It, it looked yeah. different. But what I what I failed to realize, and actually Henry Godwin, uh, shameless plug for another show uh, upcoming with uh, Henry Godwin. We'll, we'll talk about that. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So uh, he ruined my romper. That's 100% a fact. Whatever was in that slot bucket ruined my romper. So I found that that was the perfect time to break out of the romper and to get into uh, my wrestling singlet. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess, I guess I, I just really needed that because there was only so much a man can do in a romper in a wrestling ring. <laughs> now I have so much more, like, like I can just move around better. Mm -hmm. And I honestly feel like it's, it's elevating me to new levels that I'm excited to reach. Uh, I, yeah, I, I, I know that picture, uh, uh, yeah, pop yeah. Up there too. Yeah, that, this 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 is the gear. If you're with us on video, I'll right. see if we can find out, find, pull up an old romper one too. What was that, Bradley? Um, I know my friend Brad Kaler that I often sit when you're is, is just absolutely offended that you keep kept wearing a belt with your romper. <laughs> I, I I don't know why that was offensive in any way. The you, you, you wear are you wearing a belt? Right? You're wearing a belt I'm right wearing, now. Yeah. I'm wearing a belt right now. Yeah. Everybody in here with pants on is wearing a belt. You just wear belts. I'm not wearing a belt. I have a drawstring on my. I'm, I'm drawstring. not wearing a belt. Uh, it's like it's like the Orange Cassidy jeans with the drawstring I'm kind of situation. Come on, guys, you got to do better than that. I mean, you know, I'm, 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 I'm lucky wearing I'm wearing shoes today. Them. Come I'm, I'm on, okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you work from home. You're just like nah, we're, I work out at home. Yeah, like 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 we, Mike probably isn't wearing pants right now. He's no, I am. Well, I, Mike I, is completely Donald Ducking we, it right now. We don't need to see proof. We can just leave it as he that's is your imagination, pants. right? I mean, you know, if you're listening to audio, we could all who knows. Um, anyways, uh, let's not go down that road. This right, is about right. you, Chase, and whether you're wearing pants. Right. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I am wearing pants right now. But yeah, uh, the, the, the romper. Oh, it, Thank you, actually, Chase. I, Thank I'm, you very much. I'm looking at the live feed right now, and I you definitely cannot tell. But, uh, good, I good, am. Good, good. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the romper's gone. You will not see Chase Gold in a romper maybe ever again. Mm -hmm. um, I am like, if, if, you, if you can see the muscles in my body, you can now – my opponents can now breathe in my armpits a little bit better. There's just more breathability for me and for, for everybody. Like it, mm -hmm. it's a win, win all around in my opinion. There you go. There you go. So, okay. Let's talk. Well, uh, I want to get to the Henry Carter one. Cause right, I, right, right. I, I saw that was happening in that other company and I, and, and I was like, okay, I, I got to get my head around this. Right, right. Uh, but, but, but so let's talk about, uh, you know, you know, you, you got a different style. You are uh, uh, the best smelling man in professional wrestling. That is correct. correct. Um, so, t why? I, why I, am I the best smelling <laughs> man in professional wrestling? What, that's the question. Uh, where did this come from? How did, how did this? Who, who did you take the title from? I assume it's Rick Martel. Actually, Ooh. yeah, I did take it from Rick, Rick Martel. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, okay. I thought so. Yeah. Uh, so there you is know, precedence for this. Yeah. Uh, arrogance. Th yeah. There is an expiration Absolutely. date on things. And it just so happened that for Rick Martel, uh, this, when I debuted in 2019, that was it. Um, but no, to, to answer your question, uh, there's not much you can really change at a certain age. Like I, I'm stuck at this height. I'm like five foot eight or five foot nine, whatever I might be. Or, you know, the weight that's going to fluctuate a little bit. Something I can always control is how I smell. And mm. I'm very proud of that because that is something there, there's, there's a few things they say in like GQ magazine about the best ways to present yourself, the best ways to make, uh, make yourself more confident 
and it, I, I really worked for me. And that's you can wear a watch, uh, and or you can wear cologne. And then I started getting into cologne a lot. Uh, never was into Axe, Bod, any of those ABC Curve. Just no, like no, no, half no. of the locker room is that, I think. Right. And, yeah. you know, some people, I swear to you, it's disgusting. People will just take a Febreze bottle and spray their gear. They don't. There are some people I am convinced have never washed their gear. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, I believe it. I believe it. I wash my gear after every match. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just the it's a courtesy thing to do. So I, I'm really just trying to set a new standard. I am challenging someone to take this title for me, the best smelling man. I have yet to find that in close to two years as a traveling professional wrestler. Mm-hmm. That was actually going to be one of my questions is what is your scent of choice? You say don't use Axe, don't use Baw, don't use Curve. Right. So mm-hmm. what would be your scent of choice? Uh, I do make my own cologne. Um, it's my signature must you, that no one else. Does it have a name? Uh, yeah, it's called Hubris. Okay. Um, oh, excellent. I love it. And I, I, I wear that for special occasions, but around wrestlers, um, love, 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 love uh, my Versace Love, 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 uh, Savage. I love, um, uh, like Pope Paco Rabone. Love all of these kind of coins. Should should we, like, should we present what colognes we wear for you to review them? Like, <laughs> like to see to see if we need to up this, our smell game. This is gonna get disappointing. I, I can Answer already that. tell you if it is in a spray bottle, do not even okay. waste your energy grabbing it. I'm a I'm a I'm a old spice deodorant and go kind of guy. Oh, yeah. So I I uh okay. you know. Right. I wear uh, yep. night swept from Rite Aid. Brad, you, you don't even have to answer that. I know you don't wear cologne. I, I'm, I'm, it's probably never been covered on this thing. I have no sense of smell. I've never you had smell it in my blind. Life. I just learned I, this a couple weeks ago that Brad. No, it is doesn't mean blind. I smell bad. I just have no sense of smell. But how do you I know? Smell blind. The color I blind. You smell blind. No, Bradley, as if we needed another thing to check mark. That. We we didn't need another thing to check mark for you just being a loser. Hey. Like, you're just adding on to your own list there. You didn't, wow. You, you wow. didn't have to admit that. Write her oh, wow. down. I, 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 I rock some cool water. I know it's in a spray bottle, but it, you know, it, it David off. Well. Ooh, David. That looks fancy. Yeah. It, I it's mean, not bad. you got Chase's attention. He's it's, looking at the monitors. Okay. It's among the better ones. I, I will okay. say that. Cool. I will say that. Okay. Okay. So um, we're now, now Chase, I, I do have to say, um, I know no one's come close to your particular must yet. Correct. But, but I, I do give million dollar ideas here on the show, and I just saw one. If if you find someone throughout the course of your career who you think might come close to taking that title from you, may I suggest that you have a specialty match, smell in the cell. Ooh. I I'm interested to hear a little bit more in that. Mm-hmm. I, I, it's it's just, it's just a name concept right now, but I, right, I right. presume there will be like different different ball different like different colognes around the 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 enclosure, mm-hmm. okay. and you know like can be used as weapons, spray in the eye, you know maybe a ball over the head, you know okay. stuff like okay. that. Okay, okay, I'd be down for that, and a lot of uh, materials that smell good too. We could do that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, just maybe maybe a you idea. hide a lead pipe in some roses. Right. right. You know, I mean, <laughs> it's a uh, classic trope. You could throw I, out your grandma's potpourri in the eyes. I, th- I think something. we just I think we just previewed oh, a yes. mask. Potpourri in the eyes. Th- this sounds like the kind of thing that two PW is going to try. Um, <laughs> so Let's not give him any ideas. You just need a feud with the chest flexor, and it's going to happen, right? So, uh, <laughs> so book it, book it, book it, Marshall, Marshall, come on. Where are you, Marshall? So, yeah, no. CC Marshall, CC. <laughs> uh, from the chat room, Tina, uh, hers. I think this is what I think this is her sense. So I, we'll get reaction yes. here. Tina in Seattle, uh, Britney Circus or Fantasy. Or Japanese. Or do you go over to the women's the body sense? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Or are you just just expert in the male sense? Uh, currently, just an expert in the male sense. Okay, okay. Right. Uh, and okay. she says also uh, Japanese cherry blossoms from Bath and Body Works. Ooh. So as as soap, I I hope not as a yes. perfume. Is that a yes. smell in the cell weapon? 
That could be too. Oh, it could be. Do you? Do, uh, Matt Carlin's wants to know. Do you uh, sell your fragrance at the uh, at the merch table? I do. Excellent. I do sell Excellent. fragrances at the merch table. You are the second person I know that sold some sort of fragrance cologne, uh, and Effie was the first. Effie, actually, oh. yeah. He was up for a knife. We had a chat with him when he was first getting popular, and okay. uh, he was he was he was also he was selling a lot of interesting things on that store. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> some we won't talk about here. Maybe Russell. Uh, yes, yeah, so, yes, exactly. Uh, Col- so. Cologne, eight by tens, and I'm thinking about uh, getting an Etsy store going. Oh, that'd be I, I actually do make cologne. And yeah, that's that's right. for real. Like that is right, like right, yeah, like yeah. like. Yeah. I mean, I, it's an easy thing. It's one of those things that like once you get good at it, you you actually prefer it over other brands anyway. That's a beautiful beautiful thing because like how you know how many times we get you know guys coming in here and like they're they're whatever outside of of the ring but you like you are like this is you right, right, like right. you're you're one of those like this is right this is this is chase yeah. gold is chase gold and and well, I not, mean not yeah. gonna, I I feel like we should popularize this more because wrestling fans all of us we have a must. And, we do, and it's not necessarily the best. <laughs> yes, um, like like usually uh, the smaller the arena. Yeah, you're this, not you're not yeah, getting any argument is. from me. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah. So, um, oh, clothespins, clothespins could also be used to smell in the cell. I don't know why. Like, like or, you know, like instead, or even a, instead of pulling out a some, bag of thumbtacks, right. pull out a bag of clothespins, or even clothespins. as a service to uh, uh, the fans mm-hmm. who are on board with smelling better. And knowing that they are exposed to the other fans, you could sell branded clothespins at your merch table. Yes. I could do that. I actually, um, before I debuted, I actually went around uh, like throwing breath mints at uh, the people that would watch like my uh, practice matches, or I would walk up to them and physically like spray them in the face. Yeah. Uh, and I, I can't really say who it was, but somebody ended up getting an allergic reaction to that. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> no. So, oh boy! Just, did, just know so, that the Chase Gold you see now is a very toned down version. Because um, if it were up to me, I if if it, if, if lawsuits did not exist, <laughs> I well, would you be shouldn't have used bit. peanut oil in that uh, fragrance, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> so I think it was deal. actually uh, uh, like chamomile. Chamomile, really? Like a scent, yeah. So I imagine that's something that a person would not encounter too often. Correct. Oh, so it depends on how like is, the tea yes. drinker they are. The tea drinker, yes, exactly. Right. <laughs> wow. Uh, so I got to ask this. Um, I, I saw that you are currently uh, in the middle, I believe, of a feud with Henry Godwin. Now, for the youngins out there, Henry Godwin was uh, around in, I, what, the mid-90s in WWF? It was like 96, mm-hmm. like 96 was or so. 95, and, and 96 sword, was his yes. Henry O. Godwin. Oh, I'm as sorry. In, as in H-O-G. Yes. Uh, and oh, then oh. it was Phineas I. Godwin for P-I-G. Yes. Oh, yes. oh. That was who uh, Triple H first feuded with after the curtain call. Yes, there was a slop bucket yeah, that was situation. Like a, yeah, just to give a time frame. So, 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 so I understand that Henry has... Uh, Made his way over to IWC. That is correct. And and you are are feuding with him. Correct. And this has to involve the slot bucket. Yeah. Um, let it be known, Henry Godwin won a Slammy Award in 1996 <laughs> for the wrestling wrestling's smelliest wrestler. Uh huh. I take offense to that. Like I, the fact that that's something that's a title that you're proud to have just kind of shows me the man that you are. Um, so actually by, it happened completely by randomness, uh, but the reset button at, um, reloaded, reloaded, Mm -hmm. uh, Henry Godwin came out. He actually looked really impressive in the ring. There I am waiting in the back, waiting for my number to be called. This was the battle Royal though. Yeah. 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 The 16 bit challenge. Yeah. Yeah. No sooner than right after Henry Godwin, did I come out? Uh, disrespected me um threw me out hit me with a slop drop and as i have my back turned to him the type of man he is comes over and dumps his slop bucket full of whatever it was Mm. ending the reign of the romper ruining alishay's hair and infuriating me so i asked plumber uh, Justin Plummer, the promoter for IWC, to please give me a match with Henry Godwin. 
I, 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 if, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. So I really wanted to make a statement against him. And if you watch the last show, uh, I pinned Henry Godwin one two three. I was going to say if I'm not mistaken, nice. you do know own, own a victory nice. over him. I don't know about clean yeah. but over over clean, a it, slammy it, winner. If, to be fair, I don't know of anything as clean involving Henry Godwin. It, I believe I there just, was some help from someone that was in the match beforehand. Mm. Right, right, right. I mean, listen, I didn't see anything, Mister uh, Jock Sampson, wasn't it? No, it was Derek it was, Dillinger. Uh, was it, oh, you're right. It was Derek Dillinger. Right. Involved. So yes. Um, yes. Him and I, now at our upcoming show in September 4th, we have a tag match. Henry Godwin really wants a slot bucket back. I don't know why. Uh, we took it kind of as a joke at first. Uh, but now I see how much it infuriates Henry Godwin. So I'm just going to keep playing around with it. My possession. It's mine. It's Ella Shea's. Uh-huh. It's Derek Dillinger's. It's, the only thing that it has to be is not Henry Godwin's. So have you filled this bucket up with good scents, like fill it up with perfume to make it smell better? Or is like it, it just, has been like, like a, a gift basket. It has been professionally power washed. I was going to say, maybe it it's just been, gone past the point of no return. It just, it can't smell better, but. Right. It's, it's been sitting in a tub of bleach for the last three weeks, four mm-hmm. weeks, however long it's been. Mm-hmm. Um, and I have no intentions of taking it out. I, I don't even, as far as I'm concerned. Just the way that he killed my romper, I'm killing his slot bucket. Mm. He took something mm. from me. That's fighting mm-hmm. words. Mm-hmm. He took something from me. I'm taking something from him. Wow. Wouldn't that bleach, I, I don't uh, blame uh, Wouldn't blame that him. really damage the bucket? It, it would be in a bad. I, is this the face of someone that cares? I mean, it would turn to really bad material. You, maybe I, I as don't bad as Ella, don't uh, think uh, Ella's hair. Bad. Bleach oh. can't be as bad as anything that was in the slot bucket. <laughs> exactly. And I and I have to say this. I want to speak to Henry O'Godwin directly. As a fellow Slammy Award winner, I will say, not cool. He just, bought just, that. You know, yeah, you know, uh, uncalled for. Nobody handed that. Was, was that on the was that on for. the clearance rack at uh, the WWE shop? <clears throat> oh no, no, I won this. Uh, I am a Slammy Award he winner. Bought can it. can you give us an update on the status of Ellis Hair at the moment? Uh, after seeing two professionals, it is in much better shape. Okay. Yeah, it smells that's, good. Good. that's good to hear. That's, right. that's good to hear. My prayers and thoughts have been with her over the past <laughs> right. couple of weeks. So. Me too. That's good. That's good. Wow. Yeah. Chase Gold, uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> this is great. I, I've loved, I've loved seeing uh, uh, how you've developed over the last year. And uh, I, I, you know, I knew, I knew, I knew something was around the corner when we did the uh, Chase Gold uh, uh, counter. That Chase was- Gold. Hold oh, I think we're at five. Wow, five. wow, wow, wow. But you can see that. Um, you, you can actually see that over on the Twitter and the uh, and the uh, uh, social media and, and YouTube and stuff, too. Yeah, we did a counter. I think you did 14 Chase Golds um, um, over the course of this uh, three-way match with Zeke Mercer and uh, Anthony Young and uh, at, at 2PW. And uh, I understand that's getting a lot of play lately. So, Oh, that's a romper, too. So there's, there's a look at the romper in that R. shot. Yeah, the so, uh, that R.I.P. the romper. Yeah. That that was actually the last time I wore that romper. Oh yeah. Um, and then I got a little Dude. bit too muscular to wear that one. The white romper was a little bit more forgiving of There's some a weight belt. gain. Belt. Yeah, you see the belt. Mm-hmm. You see the belt. There is a belt on there. Right. Yeah, yeah. Could I ask who designs your uh, your attire, your shirts, and your rompers and such? Uh, those I was actually sponsored by a company called Romper Jack. Oh God! Really? Um, <laughs> because I Romper Jack sounds like another indie wrestler. <laughs> yeah, he does. there was um. <laughs> Is that your tag team partner? <laughs> so back in about 2015, that's that's not a bad idea. In about 2015, 2016, whenever there was this uh, male romper craze, mm-hmm. there was about three companies that tried to focus all their efforts on that. Uh, romp him, uh, okay. Romper Jack, and I. I I can't remember the other name of the company. Romper Room. Uh, I don't, <laughs> that, I don't think a, that was a it. Little, um, no, that's a little. Um, no, the, the, the third company was, however, bought by Tipsy Elves. Anyway, and I'm telling you, I'm very knowledgeable <laughs> in my rompers. Wow. <laughs> I'm very not doubting here. anything he says because right. he sounds very professional in what he's saying. Yeah. Right. So uh, Romper Jack sponsored sounds me. Like an expert. Uh, they sent me all of those rompers. The first one I bought, I, I started tagging them in some photos and letting them know that, like, Hey, I'm giving you exposure. Hook me up. They sent me a bunch of rompers. Nice. Free, free to me. Nice. Uh, so if you go on my Instagram, you'll probably see that I tagged them. That's our little bit of a 
a little bit of our agreement that we had. Um, but actually, they, I mean, our deal is unofficially done because I just, I'm done with rompers. Rompers, yeah. Yeah, not, nothing yeah. against Romper Jack. Uh, it's just, it, it was a little bit limiting for me. You're out of and, that phase of your life. Right, right, right. I'm a little bit more uh, matured now. I got one last question before we go to break here. Um, yep. um, we recently, it's sitting over there, but we do have a uh, the main event, the tag team, the main event. Um, the, again, Jones and Duke Davis, they have a candle from main event candles, spelled a different way. Would a candle be in your future as well? Perhaps that could be another smell in the cell weapon. I, I would love, I would love to be gifted some candles or have a candle named after me. That'd be awesome. There you go. There you go. Uh, an authentic candle. You don't do candle making, right, or anything like I think it's. Uh, I'm not currently into candle making. Um, is, is there yet. a is there a candle that smells like mediocrity? I don't know, Bradley. What do you have in your house? Hey, hey. <laughs> on that note. 